A group of friends have decided to go bike riding, but Kelly and Margie both want to go first. They've decided to use flipping a coin as a way to determine who is going to go first. Rather than just flipping the coin one time, they've decided to flip the coin three times. If they flip the coin three times, how many possible outcomes can there be? How many outcomes can there be? This is the question that we want to figure out. And lots of times when we work with probability, we need to calculate outcomes. One way to calculate outcomes is by using a tree diagram. When we flip a coin, there are two possible outcomes on the first flip. There's heads or there's tails. So we can say that the first time, let's put a number one, that the two girls flip the coin, it'll either be heads or tails. Now the second time they flip the coin, we can again have a couple of outcomes. We can have heads, whoops, let's fix that, heads or tails, or we could have heads or tails. This is on the second toss. And on the third toss, again, we can have heads or tails. We can have heads or tails. We can have heads or tails. And we can have heads or tails. This is the third toss. So you see that each time the coin gets tossed, there's a different set of outcomes that can be created. This is a very simple tree diagram. Let's look at this tree diagram in a little bit of a nicer form. Here's our tree diagram. Now you can see that on the first toss there were two possible outcomes, heads or tails. On the second toss there were two possible again, heads and tails, heads and tails. On the third toss we had two again, Heads, tails, heads, tails, heads, tails, heads, tails. And then here are the possible outcomes. When we put these combinations together, we have heads, heads, heads. We have heads, tails, heads here. Here we have heads to heads, heads to tails, to here, going across. We have heads to tails to tails here. Look at this one. Tails, heads, heads. Tails, heads, tails. Tails, tails, heads. Tails, tails, tails. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight possible outcomes. And a tree diagram is one way to calculate outcomes in a visual way.